Today we're going to talk about block files and how you would use this software to create something. I'm going to create something and I'm going to say, geez, you know, I'm going to move it. So I'm going to click over here and then click and move this here. I'm also going to add some text. I'll do this here. I'm going to call this PTR sales. Okay. And then I'm going to make this guy and I'm going to put a circle on it. Okay. Let me do a, uh, a circle here. So there you go. So there's my, let's just say there's my, my logo view. Refresh. Okay. So I'm going to take everything. I'm going to rubber band everything. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit edit. I'm going to make block assemble. Bang. Now, wherever I click, let's say I click right here, bang, that becomes my anchor. I'm going to call this PTR1 and hit save. It's on my desktop. Hit save. I want to replace it. Yes. I'm going to remove this. Now, if I do an edit, insert, there's a block tool right here. That little piece is block. So if I click on block, I can go down and, and I can see my PTR1 TTB, which is what I built. I click on it, I hit OK, and bang, you can see now that my anchor is where I put it. That's my anchor based on where I clicked. I can still resize this thing. I can rotate it. I can um, go to its properties, and I'm going to say, hey, make this 45 degrees. But now this whole thing is one item and I can manipulate it how I wish, okay? So that's how that works. That's how you'd use blocks.